In my original social media magic wand video, I issued a challenge. I was having an issue where the Instagram module was only happy with a URL image, but every other module was set up for a file. How would you solve this? Well, today I want to show you how I solved it, and then I want to show you a couple other different possible ways you can solve it. My favorite way to fix this scenario is by using an HTTP module. To do that, I'm going to right click, add module. I'm going to select HTTP, search for it if you don't see it. Once you grab it, HTTP, get a file and connect. And then I'm going to drop that in, drop it right in right here. Really, it needs to be anywhere in between generate an image and the router, which forks out to the rest of your posts. So we've got it right here. Now I'm going to click down and we need to map to the URL output of generate an image, but notice how data doesn't have a URL right here. If you've never run the sequence returning a URL, you're not going to be able to map to what you need immediately, so just select anything to get it to shut up. And what we're going to do, I'm going to unlink these, and we are going to run this once after changing our response format. So I'm going to make sure I have URL selected. Now I'm going to run this and that will allow me to return a URL and then I can map the URL that I need in my HTTP module. There we go. I've returned, really only needed to finish that one, so I'd return the image URL. And now I should be able to map where I need to. Erase my placeholder, crap, data, and URL. And now I can map to the URL. This is now going to grab the image from the returned URL, return it as a file, and hold it until my modules are ready for it. Because we have switched this to a URL format, I'm good to connect the Instagram modules again. And then I just need to map to the URL output data URL. And now I'm good to go. Instagram is happy, but the rest of my modules still referencing the output file that they will no longer be receiving from OpenAI. We need to map all of these now to HTTP. So we're going to go through one by one and select the HTTP module. Run over to my Twitter. Oh, I'm going to fix that here too. I'm going to add a module. We are going to add Twitter. And instead of V6, we choose V5. And then you'll see Upload a Media. So I'm going to Upload a Media, click Add Attachments, and just like the rest of the modules, I'm going to grab it from the HTTP module. We're going to connect those two. Then under Media IDs in my Twitter Post module, I'm going to map to my Media ID from the Upload a Media module I just created. Now Twitter is happy. I'm going to go to Dropbox, select HTTP, go to LinkedIn, and I'm going to do the same. There we go. Well, it's telling me value must not be empty. Oh, I didn't save my Twitter. Got to open that. Click OK. Save. And now it's ready to run, and it is fixed and will blast to all platforms. Now let's look at another way to possibly fix the wand. And in this one, I'm accomplishing the very same task with a different module. You can see it looks a little bit different. Instead of using my HTTP, I have put my Facebook and Instagram on the same leg of my process. I have included both of their text parsers, respectively. So I've got the one that's returning the Facebook post and then the one that's returning the Instagram post. This is a little deceptive when you first look at it because you think, hey, if this is filtering the content, then how is this going to get what it needs to anyway? Well, they're both actually drawing from right here. So there's actually an invisible pathway on each of my text parsers. They are both referencing the output of this module. So it's not like it's literally having to flow through. A lot of what we're viewing here with the process chart is both order of operation and for our own visuals. Right here, the text parsers will be just fine. They're both going to be pulling from the text completion that gives us our social media post. But then Facebook, I've added an additional module. Let me zoom in. Get a photo. So as soon as we upload the photo, get a photo is going to return the URL. And that will be uploading via grabbing the file. And then once we upload that photo, 
we return a URL. And on Instagram, I am mapping the URL that is returned from Facebook pages, get a photo. What is the ultimate difference? Actually, none. There's two ways to skin a cat. I could have done the same thing with several of these modules if I wanted to. Really, it's just a matter of keeping it neat for your own organizational flow and what logically makes sense in processing sequences. So that fixes the scenario. If any of you guys out there participated in the challenge and found another way to do it, comment down below. I'd love to hear what you did. If you like this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have a great week. Onward and upward. Mm -hmm.